PM Harris accused of pork barrel gutter politics. Lacks interest in unifying approach to crime. Bastier, St. Kitts, September 24, 2018, a national of St. Kitts and Nevis has labeled the Federation's Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris as oppressive, vindictive, and a leadership plagued by multiple scandals slash. Former lecturer at the Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College, CFBC, told listeners on Monday's edition of Issues on Freedom 106.5 FM, that a lot of the nation's current problems stem from poor leadership at the very top and Prime Minister Harris should expect that his leadership and overall job performance will be scrutinized by friends and foes alike and if all he can do in response is to malign, distract and discredit, that is an indication of pettiness and small-mindedness and unfitness for leadership. His reasoning ability is so flawed that he does not realize that every time he opens his mouth and criticizes his predecessor, he is in fact condemning himself for he was part of that administration for 18 years, said McMahon, who accused Prime Minister Harris of defaming him recently about his tenure at the CFBC, forgetting that he was the Minister of Education and the Minister of Finance who was responsible for financing the institution. In any event, it is his tenure of public service now that is currently under scrutiny and not mine of 15 years ago, said McMahon. He pointed to Dr. Harris's constant reference to the past comments made by Dr. Douglas, pointing out that by doing so, Dr. Harris also draws attention to comments he himself has made and referred to the leadership and supporters of the co-ruling Team Unity government who have referred to Dr. Harris as Mark Aman Tim. How does a history lesson solve the current problem of crime? That is a problem with Prime Minister Harris, who is woefully stuck in the past. He has no vision of a better way of doing things. All he knows is pork barrel gutter politics. He knows that well, said McMahon pointing out that everybody wants a unified approach to solving the crime problem except the Prime Minister. Not the Prime Minister, he is interested in only the old rivalries and feuds with Dr. Douglas. The public is not interested in that said McMahon who pointed out that Dr. Harris seems to have an inferiority complex. He is so insecure that he always feels the need to validate the February 16, 2015 general elections. If he has a press conference he is going to campaign and cuss, or a national assembly meeting, it's campaign and cuss, said McMahon. He said it is impossible for Dr. Harris to give a unifying speech. He is one of the most divisive prime ministers that I ever knew. His attempt to give a unifying independence speech rings hollow and falls flat, because people know hypocrisy when they see it and they have no use for a leadership which goes to church on a Sunday and on the Monday, it is back to the same old sinful ways. We want leaders who walk the talk, said McMahon. You look at his modus operandi, the transactional politics, the nepotism, the vindictiveness, reward fans and punish the opponents and drive some fear and blasphemy in the mix. That is his recipe to win the next term, said McMahon. He asked, of all the politicians and the candidates, who do we feel has the best leadership capacity? Who do you follow? Who do you feel comfortable turning your back to? In other words, who can you trust? We may have two flawed leaders to choose from, but one is far worse than the other when you look at the track record, said McMahon. Photo St. Kitts and Nevis next Prime Minister Leader of the Opposition Party the Right Honorable Denzel Douglas.